right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, waste no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win in life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch. Hey there YouTubers, thanks for tuning back into another video. There's a big shortage with the EEPROM chips, and I want to show you guys my solution and see if it'll work for you, maybe save you a little bit of time, money, and effort. So without any further ado, let's jump into how snake tuning RTP works with Honda Tuning Suite. The, uh, the way that it's set up here is snake tuning manufactures the RTP board. So this you're seeing on the screen here is soldered into the ECU. I'm a dealer for them. So if you're interested in purchasing one, you can contact me. It included in the box uh, comes with your installation like chip kit. So you'll get all the pieces here. The items themselves um, typically are in stock, so there, there's no real delay. The way it's set up, you've got like a little snake bite. If I can flip through the pictures here, this, well, that's not it. If you, uh, if you click on this section here, this was a Black Friday ad for $129. I think they're currently now 170 uh, for March of 2022. Um, so you get the Snake EMU, the Snake Bite, which is this piece here, your micro USB cable, which is what connects this unit to your uh, your PC. Um, you get your install hardware, your retail packaging, and then the free accessory is typically like um, some form of like a, like a keychain or sticker of some sort. So. Um, based off this bundle, the items are still the same. Like I said, though, they're like 170, 180. Um, but the way it's set up is it's completely configurable with Honda Tuning Suite. So Honda Tuning Suite, again, is another free platform. Uh, not another one, but it is a free platform available for OBD1 Honda ECUs. It's free to download. Uh, once you download the software, uh, just ensure that you get the most latest version here. Uh, so 2.15 is the latest, um, but once you download the software. So guys, we're currently here in the car. Um, one thing that I neglected to mention is your drivers. If you buy one of the snakes from me, I'm going to provide the drivers for you, but you'll need to install those before you can connect. So once those are installed, you'll be able to take your base map here and connect to the ECU. So let's go ahead and turn the key on. Let's go down here. Let's connect to the ECU. Turn the fan off here. And what this is saying is real-time tuning is enabled. So if you click on yes, then it real-time changes what you do to the ECU via like an auto update. So as you can see now, it turned green for we're connected. It also shows, shows down here that it is connected. So from here, if you click on the little gauge instrument cluster, it turns on data logging. So this in theory should start our car. Um, this particular base map, to get it to the ECU, we need to upload it. So by clicking upload, it's gonna send it to the ECU and then we're gonna be able to start the car. So for my particular base map, I'm going to open the one that I had. I'm going to connect to the ECU. I'm going to upload it. And if you ever want to verify that your changes actually uploaded, you can click on this debug logs here and it'll show you kind of a readout and a play-by-play -play. so this is handy so from here we're uploaded let's go ahead and turn the data log on and let's start our car
So boys and girls, if you're interested in an alternative to an EEPROM or a chipped ECU for that matter, snake tuning or an RTP board is probably going to be the new normal. Uh, Hondata S300, Hondata K Pro, uh, those are you know often you know preferred methods. Uh, but this is kind of another method in addition to like a Moats Demon board. Um, so if it's something you're interested in, shoot me a DM on Instagram. You can email me. I'll put the email address here in the uh, the description below. Um, but again, this is an alternative. This does require some user um, knowledge, you could say. Um, you, you've got to be able to do some of the tuning on your own or seek out a tuner that supports the Honda Tuning Suite platform. Um, but hey, it's a whole lot of fun if you're just looking for something to be able to kind of tool around with on your own. So again, if you've got any questions, shoot me a DM, drop me an email. And guys, thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, and share, all that fun stuff, and we'll catch you in the next one. See y'all.